Hey y'all, so I'm gonna go for something, um, <laughs> new here and do, um, two videos in one day. Um, well, record two videos in one day. Not sure when this one's gonna get posted. Um, but what I wanted to do is do a, um, tour of my dresser, um, just to show you some of the organizing things I'm using and how I have it organized, and, um, I will preface this by saying that I am not the kind of person who has everything sorted by color and, like, all of their socks folded. I just, I know that that works for some people. It doesn't work for me. And, um, you know, if you want to take issue with that, then, you know, that's on you, but, um, you know, I, I'm still gonna share it, and even though, you know, it's not perfect, I still want to show people, because, you know, it, it might help some people who are struggling with organizing and might be intimidated by all of the perfectly folded things, maybe here's a more practical option that you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours of time folding everything just so, in my mind, um, you know, as long as it's neat and contained, then, you know, that's, from, from a daily living standpoint, that's kind of, that's pretty good. So, here we go. So, um, here is just the top of the dresser, it's next to the window, and there's stuff, <gasps> um, and I think you guys saw this in the video where I talked about the shelf, um, so on top I have my lamp, and I put this little extra thing on, um, so it's pretty, and because the lamp is so high up, without this, it is really, really bright, so that's just to make it, um, tolerable and more gentle. Um, this is my giant jewelry box that is a cube, and, um, it opens, and there's all of these drawers and things in there, um, and I could potentially do a tour of it, because it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff in here, and it just kind of sits there mind its own business. Um, that's my little thing that has a ton of buttons on it. Um, this is the other thing that I, um, I kind of like, and it's my jewelry or that jewelry, um, makeup organizer. And so up here, uh, I don't have a lot of makeup. This is all that I basically have. Um, and up here what I have is the stuff that I use most often. So, like, my thing and some Mary Kay stuff and some, um, no, ah, the mineral makeup one. Um, so that's the stuff that I use most often, so it's just right on top so I can grab it. The next, I have a ton of lip stuff, like lip gloss and, like, these little lip sample packs and, um, a bunch of lip stuff. And then next, uh-oh. Next, things are stuck. Next, I have a bunch of, like, random brushes and some face stuff. So, like, some cover-up and, like, another one of those little sample things. Um, and some eyeshadow and whatever. And then in the bottom, I have stuff that I don't really use. Um, I got myself a bunch of, like, that. Well, not a bunch. I got myself a set of the mineral makeup, um, God, a couple of years ago, and, you know, watched all the infomercials, it was le really cool, and I went to Macy's, and they picked out my colors, and then, um, after using it for a while, I noticed that, um, it's really not, um, no, well, it's really not good for my skin, it was, like, making it break out and just doing horrible things, so I kind of, I really re regret getting it because it was like sixty dollars, um, and then this is just some um, 
nail polish this that I like don't really use because I don't really do my nails um so then on the shelf I have like this is kind of a like, catch-all loose jewelry thing um some jewelry that needs to get fixed some this a cute little box this is like my um sleepy box so I have like one of these um eye things in there I have some um, little, uh, hang on, like these little, um, electric candles. So, like, when I'm feeling kind of, like, needing to relax, like, that's my relax box. And then I have my external speaker there and my lighter. And then on the next shelf, this is, like, Halloween-type makeup, and it just sits here because it's, like, next to the makeup, and it just makes sense in my head. And then I have, like, some um, random things, like a notepad and a pen, and um, my candle, and then, like, this is kind of like the catch-all, so it's got, like, stress balls and other things. And I got these little bins at Dollar Tree, and they're actually really nice. I, I also used um, this type in my, um, craft dresser tower thing. I'll do a video on that eventually. Um, and then I've got this cute little centipede hanging out right there. And then um, the alarm clock. So in the top drawer, um, I have my um, socks, bras, underwears, and um, swimsuits. So if you're squeamish about seeing clean folded underwear, um, Sounds like a personal problem. Um, so what I have is I got these, um, tote things, also from Dollar Tree. And they have them in brown and in tan. And they have shorter ones and taller ones. And so what I have is, like, I have my underwear in this one and then my bras. And then my socks are just loose because... I have so damn many, and I honestly tried purging socks. I really did, and it just doesn't work. And then behind there, in the back, there's this um, space, and I have like swimsuits and things like that back there. Okay. Uh. And then um, this next drawer is my pajama and tank top drawer. So back here, um, I have all of my pants rolled into little rolls, um, and then, um, and I have a lot of fleece pants. I have like four or five pairs, and that's just ridiculous. <laughs> um, and then I have, um, some rolled up shirts here, like pajama shirts, and then all of these are just various kinds of tank tops, and that's what I meant about not everything is folded perfectly because I just I think it would kind of go crazy rolling each of those tank tops up um, and okay and then the next drawer I think is one of my more organized drawers and that's kind of um, another kind of catch-all drawer but what I have here is like um, rolled up into little balls is leggings and like nylons and then in the middle here I have um I guess house dresses I guess is the best way to put it it's what you would throw on when you're feeling lazy and um let's say you have to go get the mail and it's like 100 degrees out and you don't want to wear anything so like that's just what I would throw on and go so I'm, you know, not actually naked going outside. Um, and then back here I just have a short skirt. And then right here in front I have some shorts. Um, and then next um, is my pants all the way at the bottom. So on this side going back, um, I have folded my, um, I guess, slacks. So like professional pants. And then these two piles are um, jeans, and then in the back I have just like some of these light airy pants, and that's where like exercise pants, yoga pants, random pants go. Um, so that is um, the dresser, and um, 
those are obviously not like all of my pants or all you know all of my clothing because I have like a bunch of laundry to do still but you know it is what it is all right um comment like things down below and I will see you later bye